Okay, here we are zoomed in, and yeah, you see the magnifier there. We're at 666, and I'll pop out, and you'll see what we're at. Okay? And then what we're going to do is we're going to take a look. We thank that person that put this up. This is all your tax dollars anyway, because your tax dollars pay for all that satellite action, your telescopes. Okay? So we're going to pump back in here at 400. Then we're going to... So I'm in it actually just 800 okay so we're in on the sun that's actually the sun and remember it's all that's actually the umbra action right there okay we're in a, on umbra right there even though that's electrical going off into space there's actually some stars right there and i'll bling in on that real fast okay and then we'll minus out on that real fast you can see those three stars way off into space you're seeing through the umbra on the outside, so what we'll do is get over and, and get glued in on what we're seeing. You can see more clearly out here in the radioactive colors and so forth. And then I'm going to hopefully go ahead and pull in, and you see the bling when the electrical connection makes. Basically lightning, yes, straight line DC voltage from radioactive static electric in space, ladies and gentlemen. And there you go. And I'll get up a little bit more and try to keep you get a real good look stars in a row static electrical mass distances in space massive massive distances in space okay and then I'll come down on this a little bit boom, boom, boom. And try to get the and there you go So all the different colored stars out there, the big old umbilical of static electrical in space, physicists know about it. And now what happened is I probably hit play on the, on the, on what, what the video got uploaded. So what I'll do is I'll pump down real fast to like 150, and that's what happened. And we'll go ahead and we will, thanks to that person, and then... We'll hit play on this, and that object ends up coming up at the very end. You see how fast it played? And not joking, they got it sped up as you can see the time time frame. But no matter what, you end up getting that object in at the very end. As you can see, I just barely can clip it at the very end, and that's what we glued in on. Okay, and I can just pump in with the magnifier real fast. That's what we glued in on right there. But see, I bring it up resolution first, we bring it up to 999. So we get great shots from great shots, okay? So now, since I didn't have it the resolution, and then now what I'll do is I'll hurry up and play. Uh, now, this is old footage from the 20th from, so since they're not letting us see down there, remember, this is what from the 20th. And then remember the one video that I made that I showed you that we could see pan stars. And then this is basically showing you that we have more than one sun in our solar system, because basically we've got three. We've got our sun, and we've got the other two that are magnetically connected, cling, cling, bling, bling, star to star, okay? Because as you see, our sun comes up, and you, uh, the video I just made before this one, too, I show you basically, been showing you the separation and everything, and then that's what they got mad and they won't let us see this footage right now because it'll easily show the separation. I.e. the one that I showed you, the all the footage that I showed you that you can see pan stars trailing behind the sun also, okay? And then here comes the other sun. So we've got three suns. Because all, all stars and suns, bling, bling, that's right. They're all connected. Bling, 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 bling. It's all electrical. So... Let me give you the volcano action now, and you'll understand that all these stars are connected, okay? So here we go, folks. And basically, I think I'll have enough time if I just get us, because I don't have any sound here, because there was really nothing going on. I was just basically zooming in on the stars that were up there flying around up by the very top, basically mostly right along this ridge here of this side of the volcano here. So, 
I'm going to get it fast forwarded ahead to basically, and I think basically about right here, because what happens is, is I have the magnifier in there. Matter of fact, I think I got to make sure that I get this magnifier so in case we're going to magnify in. So I'll leave that up over that way. And I'll get us to, uh, some of the action and I think I'll probably you know a timestamp and stuff like that I don't play with too much so actually factually right now my magnifier is up there to the right so well they're both my magnifiers but the other one was in there when I was when I was videotaping this because what I'll do is I'll try to freeze it and give you a better look of what the stars are doing. You can see them there. I'll stay out. And then I'll just kind of try to freeze it and zoom in when we get them when they're in their long, long little line that they got going on. And what I'll do actually, I'll edit out again because there's a bunch of them up high there too, above the ones low. So, because I was in a hurry when I made that because all the information was coming in on, uh, you know, all the data was coming to basically the shots, you know, the scientific, actual, factual. I mean, you can see it with your own eyes. So you got all them stars. Just, you know, it, it's just, it's the Milky Way galaxy. And plus what's not in the Milky Way galaxy. That's the thing now is to figure out are these stars that are outside the Milky Way galaxy in the seams of the Milky Way galaxy because we're a dust cloud. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we are actually a flipping dust cloud. The Milky Way galaxy is a gigantic dust cloud. Okay, There are supergiant stars. Remember, there's stars and it's all repetitive, but there's stars that are 74 to 78 times the size of the sun out there. Now, are these some of them, those supergiant stars? Those stars right there that you can't miss. See, I did a really crappy job putting that video up, but I wanted to give you the actual factual of all these stars. should be able to see that pretty good right now, all this star action there, because I ended up, I was fighting, I was fighting the mirror. I was fighting whoever has been basically in my videos, messing with, uh, and, putting the magnifier in front of the stars that I was showing you that are dancing around. Okay. Now, I got tape time going. So what I'm going to do is, since we don't have anything right there, I'm going to pop ahead a little bit. And since we got a magnifier again there, I'll pop ahead again a bit. And see, we were shooting at these stars that are still dancing around up there. Now, there's a certain point where I start showing the stars that are on the bottom. But I'm not going to put that in here because basically you could see the stars on the bottom. Now there's where they're dancing around really good up there. Look at them. Look at those stars dancing. And it's just a gigantic umbilical cord. And then if you go back and watch my footage, they started getting the magnifier. When they were mirroring me, they would take the magnifier and throw it over on top of the stars so you couldn't see it. Okay. These stars are dancing blinging and there they are there is our just our great line action you see and then whether i did that i did that i believe but i i was fighting i was fighting with like what the heck is why is the magnifier going over top of it because see i was filming this live okay this is live off the when it went from camera seven so now what I'll do, since the magnifier is there again, see, I'll get out of the way. I'll get us going ahead a little bit more in the video. And then I started, I think, going in. And I think I could fast forward real quick. I was going to look at this no. note. There's some more action up on the stars on top. It's just the sun and the overcast, the mist and everything was just enough filter to get the black light. And that's black light curvature from those stars dancing around out there on top. And see, and then I get it in a line like this, and then 
I'd end up fighting something was, and I know what it is, SCADA, Supervisor Control and Data Acquisition. There's somebody mirroring me all the time. So, and it's, they, because I can give you clearer resolution when I first get it. This here is not that great of a resolution because the actual factual of it's not the live pixels coming from the camera. It's after I videotaped it. So see, and if you pay attention to the last video that I put up of it, they kept on dragging the magnifier over in front of it. And I know I had it close, but I was, but I was still keeping it as far as I could over to the right and not covering up the star action. See all these black star actions going on up there. Now that was a little bit my fault there, but then I, that's why I just, right now, I just, see you can see me, I slid it up on the bar and I'll slide up on the bar too again here to try to get away from the magnifier. And then I'll slip it right again here to try to get to keep it because I'm pretty sure that I, what I did, I got some long, see then I went to this, but I want to get away from doing that just basically so I can give you more of the line because I'll just finish this video out that I was showing the color of them there. Radioactive, all stars out in space are radioactive, and those are all down there, dancing around on the floor down there. Okay, so now what I'll do is I'll get back. But I'm going to cue and find us some more of that action right there. There you go. You see him dancing around up there? Right on top of the flipping mountain. From way out in space. So it's all star action. And I know I did this repetition twice, but I had to give this a little bit better view of it because I knew that when I watched it, I'm like, what the heck happened with the magnifier? They got drug over, they got drug over. Because I kept on getting the, I want the magnifier out of the way. And it usually should go to that. See, it usually should be like that. But what's happening is they keep on bringing the magnifier, that, they would bring the magnifier square like that in. And I just keep on wanting that gone and keep on showing you the stars here. So I don't know if I've run out of tape time or not, but I think I got it back to where it's really prime time and the star dancing action. And it's just, I caught this. Because I went over and looked. I haven't looked at the volcano for a long time. I went over there and looked at it. And it's starlight. Butterfly. And I don't know if they're trying to keep it from the physicists from overseas. And then if whatever, it's butterfly effect. It's all electrical. Static electric DC straight line current from stars out in space. That's all dancing around there up on top of that mountain can't miss it it's all actual factual that ain't no messing with any footage or anything like that it's all black butterfly effect starlight and as you can see you can see there's not it's pretty self-explanatory and then I've showed you what I could see up there in space when we zoom in on that too so I'm gonna load this up make pay attention to the Saturn stuff that we got going on so there's a good dozen or so videos that you need to sit there. The last dozen videos I've made and check out all this. There's tons of star action out in space. This stuff is hell a ways out. Way the hell out. Earth is hiding out like a rabbit in a hole. It's just all radioactive beta gamma radiation light curvature from space. It's this is when it gets really good. Looks like a bunch of geese, but it's not. It's a bunch of stars. Beta gamma light curvature from space. Beta gamma butterfly effect light curvature from space. It's all these stars. Static electrical. 
radioactive DC current from outer space and it's hot 